Good morning, sisters and brothers. As we center on Jesus, uh, in my mind this morning with God, I'm, I'm still feeling kind of raw. Uh, raw from the events of this past week, and, and I can look over it and think, man, what a crazy week. And then if I step back over the course of my life and go, what, what a crazy 50-plus uh, years. And then if I step back and look at what I know of history, I can look all the way back to the garden. <laughs> Uh, to the Garden of Eden and go, boy, it, it, it has always been crazy uh, because, because of us. <laughs> Reading this morning, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4, it's a passage you may have heard before, uh, but Paul writes and he says, we have this treasure in jars of clay. What's this treasure? He calls it the light the light of the gospel, the light of God's story. Light, which brings what? Warmth and life and joy. A light that my dogs look for to curl up in. Like that, he says, like this gospel, God's story, it is this light. But we, we are what? Jars of clay. We're these fragile uh, containers for it. We have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus. So that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, here's the line that sticks with me this morning. Death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. He's saying as, as servants of Christ, of his ministers, as missionaries, which we all are. <laughs> uh, don't just think of ministers as people with the degree or the title or the job. If we are, uh, we are all being trained by Jesus to be like him and to do what he does. And he's sending us out to do it. <laughs> and he says, in doing so, death is at work in us, but life is at work in those we serve, <laughs> those we care for, those we pour into. Uh, John Mark Comer put it this way. He said, like Jesus, we open up our body and we let the pain and suffering and the evil of the world flow into our soul and like Jesus, we let our body become the place of exchange where there is a healing and transformation and integration. We let pain flow in and we let the blessing flow out. This is called uh, vicarious suffering. <laughs> and I just uh, pray this week that we can be like Jesus um, in uh, transferring pain and suffering of others and the evil in the world into healing and transformation and integration. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Let's finish with a prayer, an ancient one. Uh, oh, Father, you are the unsearchable abyss of love, the ineffable sea of love, the fountain of blessings, the bestower of affection. You send peace to those that receive it. Open to us this day the sea of your love and water us with the plenteous streams from the riches of thy grace. Make us children of quietness and heirs of peace and kindle in us the fire of your love. Sow in us your fear. Strengthen our weakness by your power. Bind us closely to you and to each other in one firm bond of unity for the sake of our King Jesus. Amen. Grace and peace, my friends.